Hello and welcome to the Gaming Circus. Today we'll be looking at Ticket to Ride and in this game we'll be showing you how to play and our opinions on the game. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is Ticket to Ride all set up and ready to go. You have your board for where you're going to be placing your trains, the carriage deck with five carriage cards laid out, the ticket deck to this side, and then each player gets 45 trains, four carriage cards in the various colours. So you have a red, yellow, green, blue, white, black, orange, pink and you also have rainbow. Rainbows can uh, be any colour. This will be important for later, uh, later on. You also get given three cards from the tickets deck. You'll choose two, uh, at least two of these and uh, they will be the tickets that you'll be trying to complete over the course of the game. In the game on your turn, you can do one of three actions. The first action you have a choice of is to gain carriage cards. So you can gain two cards from the visible pool, two cards from the top of the deck, one card from the top of the deck or one card from the pool. Though, if you do end up picking up a rainbow from this row, that will be the only card that you can pick up that turn. If you pick it up from the deck, it doesn't matter, you can still pick up another card. Another action is that you can pick up tickets. You get three tickets, and then you will choose which one you want to take. You can take more than one. You can take all three if you wanted but you must take a minimum of one. Your last action is playing cards to place your trains. So for instance, I have a red and a rainbow, so I can place those two to pay two to play uh, El Paso to Santa Fe. So as the game continues, you'll be wanting to uh, place your train carriages to make up uh, the roof on a ticket. So for instance, uh, for example, here, I'm going to play the yellow and the rainbow to place another two for Santa Fe to Denver. This means that El Paso to Denver is now complete, which means my ticket card is now complete. That would mean that I'll gain four victory points at the end of the game. You will also gain victory points as the game progresses using the victory track that's around the outside. So when you place your trains down, you gain victory points equal to the number of trains placed. So for instance, El Paso to Santa Fe is two, so two is two points. So two points to red there. The score varies depending on trains. So if you've got one train, it's one point. Two trains, it's two points. Three trains, it's four points. Four trains, it's seven points. And five trains, it's 10 points. Six trains is 15 points. At the end of the game, you total up the amount of uh, points you've accrued from placing your trains and the amount of points on your tickets and the person with the most points wins the game. The game ends when uh, one player is down to three trains. That means that every other player then gets one more turn before the end of round scoring is done. And the victory of the winner is decided. So let's go over to the sofa and uh, sum up our final thoughts. So that is Ticket to Ride. 
Ticket to Ride is one of mine and my partner's favourite games. We have played it numerous times and enjoyed every session. Each time the points are very very close by the end of it. This game is perfect for if you're playing with casual players, family or friends. Just because the games are so simple and easy to pick up, you can get the first round done in the game and everyone knows how to play. The downside of it is that the rules aren't very uh, complex, so if you're into your complex games or Euros, this may not be the right one for you. But if you're looking for a game to play with your family for a fun uh, night and just enjoy playing games and having a bit of a laugh, then I would highly recommend Ticket to Ride for you. It is just absolutely great uh, on a night with friends. If you liked this video, why don't you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Take care everyone. Bye bye.